Everybody, this is Julian. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Santa Monica collection in the background. I am in front of my gate. I'm so happy to be home. Weather is perfect, plant weather, and we are well into a new month. For those of you who celebrate Pride, happy Pride, and I wanted to share with you guys my fun nails and my cool rings. These are all up for sale, my rings. These are rings that I've been creating and I'm making them in fun colors and patterns. But I wanted to share with you my pride nails before we start today's video. And I just, I absolutely love them. So give this video a big thumbs up. Happy pride to everyone out there. And let's talk about a handful of plants that are doing great in the collection this time of year. Every time I step away from the collection, I always like to come home to see one, what plants gave me drama and I have a lot of those and then what plants are doing great with me hardly being away from home. I'm always home. interested to come home and kind of scan the collection and see what's going on. Also stick around because I am going to be taking part of the Santa Monica collection to the Las Vegas room for phase two so stick around for that. I'm slowly collecting them. I think I want to take maybe six to ten plants for phase two which I will be taking back in this coming week when this video goes live and I know my wrist seems naked but I'm charging my iWatch but you guys get to see all of this hand candy how pretty is this so let's talk about plants one of the plants and a lot of them live outside so they do get trashed on unfortunately this is one of my epiphytic cactus and I'm trying to think where I got this one from I think on the way to San Diego. This epiphytic cactus I had for a while now and this one compared to my other ones has little pricks on it so I try to not touch him as much as possible. I mean in the past it accidentally got knocked over you can see the damage from the fall. Other than that where I have it placed which is behind my wicker coffee table outside in my patio it's on its own and it hasn't had any drama with getting knocked over an accident but it's one of these plants where you want to have it just sit and not move them because there's little pricklies on here and I'm sure this plant would do great actually maybe I can find a spot for it outside here in the front of the house to get more sun but if you look in the planter you will see tons of new baby growth and there's a fun one here on this side here the camera can pick it up but I thought I'd share this epiphytic cactus for a pot of fame because it's very non-dramatic tons of new growth all of this right here is new growth and never ever had a problem with it with my schedule and my lifestyle and it's aesthetically interesting so comment down below if you like epiphytic cactus do you like collecting them? I like them for its blooms. I've never seen this thing bloom on me. I'm sure maybe one day if it does give me blooms, hopefully I'm home. But you know, you just never know because my one epiphytic cactus, I never would think it would bloom on me ever and it gave me a few blooms this year. But yeah, tons of new growth here. I love seeing that a lot. I love seeing all of this new growth and as you can see there's little aerial roots here so this is a very easy propagator you could easily just take a cutting from the bottom clip it here and then get more plant babies but yeah i have to be very careful because some of them has little pricks on it and you definitely don't want it to get in your skin my hawaiian spider plant i have a thing for spider plants they're super cool and interesting I don't want to say this is my favorite one but I feel like out of all of them this one to me is the most rarest from in my part of the world comment down below if you have the Hawaiian spider plant and if it's a common plant in your part of the world for me it is not it's on the rare side and this thing produces the most beautiful variegation and look at how big the baby is getting this is the largest baby and I don't think I ever took from it before. I don't want to take from it. And then also, I noticed that it's flowering. Like, how cute is that? I'm going to have to take that bloom. It's so cute. So a lot of fun activity on this plant. This plant lives full time in my patio. So lots of new growth. But yeah, I think this is 
the largest baby right here. And then take a look at the root system on that. And then there's a few more here and here, but it is flowering, trailing beautiful. And unfortunately, this plant does get beat up from being outside in the patio. There's nothing I can do about it, but it likes living in the patio, so I'm not gonna change where it lives. It's doing just fine. And this lives up against my patio wall on the plant shelf. So very gorgeous plant. I would love to see this like hanging from the ceiling. It would be so pretty. One of my philodendrons, I don't know the ID on this one. It was one of my birthday plants that I got in the mail. I rarely buy plants online. I like to get them in person as much as possible. This leaf just unfurled for me and it is so gorgeous and smooth and soft and it's just so perfect. I did have to prune off a bottom leaf, but it's okay because we have a new leaf here. So this is the status of this philodendron. I don't know what I should do with him. Should I put him in a bigger planter or should I keep him on this stake and planter set up for now? I think I'm just going to maybe get a Velcro tape and then just tape him up here. I think that's what I'm going to do and then you'll be good to go. But such a gorgeous plant. This lives on the top shelf of my bathroom plant Another shelf. Another hit or miss plant with me is my philodendron, Jose Buono. I know one of the leaf here was not happy and it fell off and it was about to unfurl, but it's okay because if you look here, a new leaf is about to unfurl and I'm trying to think how long I had this plant. Maybe two years. It was definitely really small when I purchased it and i love the variegation on it it's very cool and interesting so i'm kind of curious to see what the pattern of the leaf is going to be comment down below if you have this philodendron i would love to have a big one but i'm pretty sure they're expensive last night when i purchased this plant a couple years ago it was very expensive for a small plant cutting bathroom which is very difficult this is the alocasia black velvet and i can't believe it it is unfurling a new leaf and normally when a new leaf comes one goes i've never seen this thing have three leaves i don't know what's going on here but now that's gonna like brown up the whole leaf i don't know if i should trim it hmm comment down below what do you think i should do with this leaf should i trim it or should i just let it brown up and then i don't know what to do this plant is very difficult and it loves living in the bathroom so very happy to see this alocasia still alive. This was gifted to me from a subscriber uh, to adopt because she didn't want to have such a dramatic plant in her collection. And I don't blame her. This is a very dramatic plant along with any calatheas. You have to have the patience and the time to babysit them and I don't so it's not kind of my thing. Especially with alocasias. Alocasias is a hit or miss. Some of them do okay with me and then some they don't and we don't got time for that right and I like to have plants that are low maintenance non dramatic plants I'm sure you guys can Another agree. small fun update is my little pine cone it has a baby like how cute is that so I didn't want to skip out on this little guy every growth counts so I definitely wanted to share this little update with my you sense of areas some of them hate me right now for moving them into the studio lost a handful of leaves i don't know if because i wasn't home or because of where it's in the studio it's too dark but 80 percent of them came out back to the patio yesterday so hopefully we'll see more growth this big baby has been living in the patio it bloomed on me you might be able to see the bloom stock here it bloomed on me about two weeks ago and then it's giving me a new baby so yes it does get beat up from my tree outside so much trash but the weather and the lighting in the patio is perfect for sensitive areas and this one bloomed on me and gave me a new baby but it's very top heavy so i have a pine cone over here helping it to stay up right but very fun update and i've had this one in my collection now for a year and haven't had any problems with it outside of the patio as long as it doesn't rain. We're gonna finish up today's video with two plant babies. This one I can bring to you. My Monstera Albo, my gorgeous variegated baby. 
one of them the Thai constellation is stressing me out because it didn't like me being away for almost two weeks and it is browning and I don't know if that is the characteristic of the Thai constellation because it's so variegated comment down below if you have that problem with your Thai constellation but literally my elbow and Thai constellation live next to each other and the elbow gave me a new leaf take a look at that with one fenestration and a little variegation on the top so I don't know what to do with my Thai constellation because it's browning on every single leaf and again, I don't know if it's because the whole leaf is variegated and that's a trait. I've never had the Thai constellation before or the elbow. These are all first time plants for me. But it never gave me problems until I left for almost two weeks away from the collection. When I came back from Hawaii and then Vegas, it's just not happy. But my elbow, I'm happy to report it's doing good and they're roommates. So now my Thai constellation lives in the bathroom. Maybe it needed more humidity, I don't know. It lives in the bathroom, in the tub when I'm away, along with this plant baby. So I just don't know what to do with my Thai constellation. It is stressing me out because these plant babies are very expensive. So let's go to one last plant baby, which is too big for me to carry to share with you here. So here she is, my red Congo in all her glory. And you can see here in the center, she has a new leaf unfurling and she loves living by the fountain so happy to report this new growth give her a big thumbs up for producing a new beautiful leaf that is gonna wrap up another month another pot of fame i hope you guys enjoy seeing some updates on the collections and i do have a lot of headaches especially with like i said my thai constellation and then some of my tritiscantias they're just not happy with my new schedule and I'm trying to not take that personal, but it is what it is. And my lifestyle is definitely different from a year and a half ago, but I am just trying to stay positive and do the best I can do. And I mean, with hundreds and hundreds of plants, I just can't get mad, you know, things like this happen. But luckily, there's always gonna be plant babies that do well for me. So hope this inspires you to add a little green in your space happy pride month hope you guys are enjoying the summer if it's summer in your part of the world and i'm looking forward to sharing with you in a few weeks next month's pot of fame what plant babies do very good for me this time of the year also my small epiphytic cactus gave me little blooms and there's one little bloom left and you'll see it eventually shared in a resin with me video but I just don't want to touch it before the bloom falls off and well that happened to me a week and a half ago with my last hybrid epiphyllum bloom uh, transporting the plant to the car the bloom fell off it was about to open that night so I had no choice but to bring the plant with me and I like literally my heart was so shattered I took the bloom to Las Vegas it opened up like with my mom's method with the napkin and water and then I dried it brought it back I'm just so thankful because last year my hybrid epiphyllum gave me 11 blooms and this year it gave me six so I definitely didn't want to lose out on that six bloom so I don't want to touch the epiphyllum Great things are happening in the collection regardless of the handful that are upset with my new schedule um, but it's the perfect time of the year to be outside so if you have gorgeous weather right now i hope you're outside and doing some kind of plant life activity and i'm really excited to bring some plants to the las vegas collection so stick around for that hope you guys enjoyed another pot of fame happy pride happy planting very fun to be back in santa monica i think this time around i'm only here for a week and a half but I am enjoying being home and I look forward to sharing with you another part of fame when this month ends. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channels. And if you're new, welcome, subscribe. Between the main channel and the vlog channel, you get a video each and every day. If you're interested in any of my resin art, you can reach out to me, Planting with Julian, on Instagram, Jewel of Hawaii on Instagram. And I can't wait to share with you more plant updates in the future. Until next time, aloha from sunny Santa Monica, California. Bye. Mm -hmm.